serial numbers like that one uh, important thing is there okay what is the serial number okay if you want to understand the uh, why we require the serial number let us consider we are taking some engines okay you know about the engines every engine will be having the unique number for that unique numbers okay every engine will be having their unique numbers and if you take the uh, printer printers for printers also there will be a different unique numbers for the printers as well okay for everything will be having your uh, own different serial numbers will be available okay this is a simple topic about the serial numbers okay for engines will be having the serial number for printers will be having the serial number you take the different materials okay they will be having some numbers and click like uh, chassis you can take okay chassis so uh, how they will going to maintain the uh, unique numbers for this okay let us consider the material number will be different okay material number will be different for these things it might be one right? yeah it might be one over here but the unique number will be something different here okay it might be one here but here it will going to come to k a uh, some r five six something like that it will going to show you okay so uh, after that some some this is one number for the engine let us consider okay so like this this will going to come and for serial material number might be two but this will be something else okay like that unique numbers will come okay why this serial numbers are important these are important because whenever you are creating such materials okay uh, engines or printers or something okay such materials and whenever you are doing the goods receipt okay the vendor will going to send you you initially will going to raise the PO. Okay. Once you'll raise the PO, vendor will going to send you the details. Okay. He will going to send the GR to you. Okay. That is goods receipt. You have to take that goods receipt and you have to verify that whether this goods receipt is correct or not. Okay. Once you verify you, there only he will going to provide all these unique numbers. Okay. So okay, this is the engine and this is the unique number. This is the material number. All these things you can able to check it over there. Okay, this is one important uh, uh, thing where we will going to use it in the SAP. Most of the time we will going to use this, okay. So if you want to check this, you just go to SPRO, IM, sorry, IMG. Actually, here it should show in the material master and purchasing. But in this, uh, this is a old version, right? So it is not showing, it is showing it in the SD. So better, better, I'll just find it like serial number okay i will just find it here okay there will be so many different things will be available but for us um, serial numbers will be for the shipping here it is available okay for handling handling units also some serial numbers you will going to get basic functions okay if you double click on this it will it will take you there okay if i double click on this see it is taken me to a basic functions which is available here we can able to check it see sales and distributions okay under that you have to go to the basic functions under that you will going to get the serial numbers so what is the serial numbers you can read it out here in this section you can make settings of a serial number management serial number management allows you to distinguish between the individual items of a material that are managed with a single material number see for engine means engine is one single material number i will just show you engine means one single material number but under the engine if you are taking 10 engines let us assume okay 10 engines these 10 engines will be having different numbers over here okay uh, the engine might be having thousand or ten thousand one okay and uh, ten thousand two like that we are getting 10 different engines so this is how we will going to differentiate them a single material with a different unique uh, numbers here okay so this is how we'll going to do it for that it will be helpful like that they are showing okay where is that okay and uh, here uh, company x produces three different types of uh, solar collapse a, type a b and c for a also you will going to see some different materials within the a again b also you will going to see some different uh, different materials see if you are taking type a material 10 quantity means 
for this type a you have to give 10 serial numbers like that okay so that is where we'll going to use the serial number uh this one okay if you go inside the serial number here one is central control parameters for the serial number is there second is determination of the serial number profile is there this is important for us just go into the central control see for the com uh, customer equipment it it has sh uh, shown here okay but if you go into the uh, purchasing data and all okay there we don't have the serial numbers okay so that is the uh, because this is the old version if you check it in the online and all you will going to get the serial number in the uh, material management only okay but uh, here we are going to the sales data and we are defining our serial numbers see here profiles are available and these profiles you can able to take it and you can able to make your own uh, profile and you can proceed further okay these are a few profiles which uh, they have shown here okay so you can able to create your own profile and you can proceed further and this is one uh, simple uh, technology it is available and they are using it okay basically whatever the standard profile is there uh, most of the time we'll be using this okay just click on this and go to the serializing procedure here are the procedures which are available see maintain goods receipt and issue document is there no for this i have given uh, uh, what is that uh, serial usage 3 and equipment required 0 2 means what okay i will just show you what is this meaning mmsl maintain goods receipt is there no for this i have used 3 okay just click on f1 here see serial number usage indicates the uh, indicator that determines for the business transactions whether no serial numbers are assigned okay that is the one okay if it is one then no serial numbers are required if it is two serial numbers can be assigned if it is three serial numbers must be assigned uh, if it is four serial numbers are assigned automatically okay here we have must be assigned serial number three no here see one means it is none two means optional three means obligatory fourth means it is automatic if you want to take automatic serial numbers then it will come no no i don't want to take automatic serial numbers i want to uh, fix okay means i want the gr must be created through the serial number means you can put this obligatory and you can proceed further uh, if it is uh, optional then you can like in the optional what will going to happen only uh, it will going to show you whether you want to put it or not okay like that if you don't want to put the serial numbers also okay uh, if you want to go through the serial numbers also it is okay like that it will going to show you the document so how you will going to create the gr now that is important here okay so uh, through this serial number also you can able to make that thing okay this is about the serial number usage how we will be using it and here equipment required one more uh, data is there i will go and click f1 here see serial number with or without equipment required okay entry that determines whether or not an equipment master record should be created for each number when assigned to serial numbers okay so here we have only two things whether it is required or not required okay equipment required or not required it will going to show it to us okay always with the equipment here without equipment two things are available okay what is the use of it let us consider if you choose the indicator default as without equipment the user can later decides uh, when assigning a serial numbers in the dialog box whether an equipment master is uh, or should be created or not okay that one you can able to decide if you choose the indicator with equipment this is a, a binding for the user okay so you have to keep it okay without that you cannot move further like that it will going to do the serial number okay and this serial number no you have to give it in the material master uh, of the of plant data a view is there okay in that plant data i will going to provide the serial numbers then uh, you have to proceed further okay so i will just show you i have shown you here serial number says i am taking it as a obligatory means you must put it then only 
it will uh, means I am I, I'm, I'm saying I must put the serial numbers like that I'm saying and uh, if you put the two no it will if I'll creating the GR it will not going to ask you about the serial numbers now I will just show you we will uh, change the material or we'll, we can able to create one more material and we can check it where we will going to assign the serial numbers and all I'll show you okay just go back this is the profile for us okay these are the different serial number profiles for us we will take the existing one uh, this triple zero one we can take it okay where we have to assign it we have to assign it in the material master in the purchasing data view okay i will just go you to the sorry take you to the mm03 let us consider i am considering the 03 but you cannot able to see it here one minute mm. RS mm 01 we will change the data for some material uh, 18 sorry 16 85 is the one um, material for us for which this is a raw material too i want to change the data for this okay click enter see here it will going to give the option to select this general plan data as well but if you see it in the mm02 you cannot able to see this data because initially we have not selected this that is why so you just select this general plan data or a storage type data and this one also you select it and uh, all these things i don't require i'll just remove as of now okay click enter it will going to ask you the plant my plant is mkp and rmsl is the storage location click enter uh, maximum okay so here in the plant data one it will be asking a maximum storage period and uh, minimum remaining self life all these things it will be asking click enter see in the storage uh, plant data and our storage type 2 it will be asking the serial number profile okay you will be having a several serial number profile just give triple zero one over here okay as of now i am just uh, going through this serial number profile there are you you can see different serial number profiles which are available here okay there are different serial numbers profile you can just select one you can uh, yeah, what is that? Um, uh, copy this and you can create your own for the Tata. That is possible, but why it is required? Okay. So that is why I'm just uh, uh, not going to select these things. Okay. So when I will going to take this now, they uh, I means put this profile now. Here, what is these things? Okay. Existing. Okay. I'll just click F1 here. See, indicator serial number existence requirement means indicator that determines whether the serial numbers entered for the business transaction need to be created first as the master record in the system i don't want that okay means it is saying you uh, let us consider you are purchasing thousand engines okay for all the thousand engines you have to create some existing record okay here all the thousand numbers uh, each uh, uh, what is that for engine you have to create each number like that you have to create thousand numbers in the sap then you have to process proceed i don't require that so i am saying i don't require the existing i whenever i'll be creating the gr that time i'm going to give the serial numbers for that okay here in the category click f1 here see equipment category key for distribu uh, distinguishing uh, individual techniques technical objects according to their use okay here it will going to give you the or uh, distinguish the individual technical objects okay so how what is the use of that and all how uh, that is how it will going to differentiate okay here equipment category description is there so it is a customer equipment and here if you see it is about the stock check for the serial numbers okay how much uh, stock it is available and all if you can able to check you can able to check it through this okay here also you have the options no stock validation inconsistencies in the stock data it will going to give the warning inconsistent in the stock data if you, it has to go to the error which one you want to select you can able to select if there is an inconsistent is if you just click on select this one okay it will just give you the warning and move on but if you give the error now you cannot able to proceed further okay so until this we have not used the serial numbers but in this uh, you will going to see how this serial number will be used okay i have already assigned for this material i have assigned one serial number profile here just save this material okay uh, serial number profile 
for a material with the inventory. Okay, we have assigned it. That is fine. Okay, the material is created. Okay, sixteen eighty five is created. Now what I will do? I will just create one PO on this material. Okay, I will create one PO. I will take any vendor. Okay, so twenty one I will take some purchasing or I have to put from and material is. Sixteen eighty five. We have to do the profile. Then only it will come. Okay. I will take five only. Okay. Five quantity only. I'll take. So because we need to put the uh, what is the serial numbers also in the GR. So that is why CM KP I will take and store location is RMSL. Click enter. So the whatever the price it is taking, it is taking from the previous PO only. So I will just check it. Okay. No messages is there. See. So we have defined our output determination. So we have to give the messages here. Okay, go to the messages. Just put your output P N E U medium. It is print out. Don't give the uh, partner. It is V N. I am going to give the function E N. I will give. If you click enter now, it will take the partner automatically. Okay, save this. Try to save it. It will going to ask you the logical destination. L P zero is our logical destination. Click enter and come back. Come back. Okay, so I now check it. So now it will going to show no messages. Okay, so just save this one. Okay, you have the release strategy as well here. Okay, release strategy also come into the picture. So just save it. Okay, it is created four two three. I will go to M E twenty nine N slash N M E twenty nine N and I will going to release this few um, other uh, see copy this and uh, go to the other few. Twenty no hours is twenty three, right? So this one I have created just now. Okay, I want to release this PO means go to the header, release strategy, just release it, save it. So I have released the PO here. Okay, four twenty three. Now go and create the micro slash and M I Z O. Give this purchase order. Click enter. Sorry, not this one. Twenty three. I have to give. Okay. So here. Five materials I have taken. One not one is the moment type. It is coming. Everything is okay. Just say item okay. This serial number tab earlier it was not coming to you, but now it is showing here. I will just say check. It will definitely give us an error. See, maintain serial numbers for total quantity. We have to maintain the serial numbers now. Okay. So if you don't uh, maintain the serial numbers, it will not going to proceed further. So. I will take the serial numbers from one to five. Let us consider one, two, three, four, five. Okay, click enter and check it now. So prices amount. Okay, so some price difference is there in the material master. Some price is there and PO some price is there. It is okay for us. Okay, it is just one caution which it is giving. So I will just post it with the serial numbers. If a bad errors are there, we cannot proceed further only. Okay. It shouldn't uh, make this much late. Or else, it will going to see there is a current ABA pay for uh, some program had to be terminated because there was a no space available to load it. Sometimes uh, some space issues will be there. Sometimes uh, runtime issues will be there. Or else, what we will do? We'll just remove everything. Okay, we'll just close these things and we'll refresh the system once and we will going to execute it once again. Okay. Here I will going to go to the menu and refresh it. Okay. Sometimes it will going to happen. Sometimes it won't. If ABAP errors are there, then we require the ABAP for self here. Okay. In industries also many times it will be happening. Okay. We need to just connect with the ABAP for and it is going to set it up for you. Okay. It is not happening. We cannot able to do it. But it is saying. Without this uh, number uh, numbering, no, you cannot proceed further. Like that only, it is saying now. So earlier, our MIGO used to create very easily, okay. But now, as we have assigned the uh, serial number profile in the material master at a um, general data two tab, okay, gender plant data two tab, it is asking for the serial numbers in the MIGO, okay. And what we have given. We have given obligatory three. That is why it is coming. Or else, just see. I will change it now. Uh, SPRO, IMG. Uh, or else, go to the sales and distribution. Where is that sales and distribution? 
okay basic functions under that serial numbers okay you just go here and execute this one determination here what i will do i'll just select this go inside this here i'll going to give two okay click enter and save this i have given optional okay now i have given optional i will take another sheet here uh, mi0 or uh, not mi0 i have to create one more po um me 21 n okay we'll create a quick po here based upon this po i'm creating one more PO. okay here i'm going to change the price okay that is fine so just check it uh, so no messages no not an issue save it it is okay without a message also you can able to proceed further but just release this PO slash n me 29 and I am releasing this uh, PO here. I need to type 24. Go to the header, release strategy, release it, save it. Okay, now go to the MyGo slash and MIGO. Serial number option will be available. Okay, but it will not going to throw an error to us. Okay, if you are not putting the serial number also, it is okay because I have provided optional there. I'll say item okay serial number is there okay if you don't want to provide also just check it see document okay it is saying because we have taken it as a optional here okay i will just go you to the uh, serial number in the determination check the profile go to the serializing profile here see i have taken it a optional okay if you kept it none then it will not going to ask you optional means if you keep it that is better if you don't keep it then the system will accept that okay that is how i have kept it optional try to post it now some errors will be there after the serial number no yeah now it is posting okay so some ABAP errors are coming when we are putting the serial numbers okay so whenever uh, you are taking through the serial numbers we have to uh, take it very or else we will going to provide one more thing we can do one minute for earlier PO no sorry my go what we have to do I will just check so now also it will not going to ask about the serial numbers it will be asking about the price okay okay it might be the price issue now it may post okay or else I will give the serial numbers here some 111, 112, 113, 114, 115 and give and check it. Okay, the price issue is there. That is fine. Post it. If you are putting some serial numbers, no, it is giving some trouble. Okay, the okay document is posted. Very good. Okay, now this document is posted. What we can do? Just go to the MMB slash and MMB and check for this uh, particular uh, this one material and here for which materials you have uh, taken the uh, uh, serial numbers you can able to check it here stock request list equipment and serial numbers here go and list of equipments only be accessed from the plant level <clears throat> okay so you have to check this plant level data go to the environment and serial numbers it will going to show you the uh, materials which are maintained with the serial number see for the same 1685 i have taken these are the different materials which we have taken with the serial numbers and some equipment it is coming automatically okay so this is how the serial number will going to work for us okay so uh, even if you just go to the history of the serial number in iq03 okay so in iq03 if you go slash and iq03 okay this is one uh, uh, it will going to give the material status for us okay just give the material and some serial number triple one you can do click enter so here if you go to the history now this is also material data only okay but here if you go to the history of this it will going to show you okay so on this particular date we have created the some serial numbers for this material that is triple one okay history it is showing some number here 
okay so if you have created some different numbers and some different serial numbers it is going to show you everything okay so and here one more thing if you go to the history it is showing you green color now what do you mean by this green color okay if you see this color combination or color color le uh, legend then you will going to understand the different colors here so this green color is for goods receipt we have done the goods receipt right now if you are issuing the goods for this okay it will show you the red okay and delivery means it will show you the some different color returns some different color now i will going to issue this good 111 is there now i will uh, issue this how we can able to issue in my go only i'm going to do it now slash and mi zero i'll go oh i just want to change this okay or else it will be difficult okay later on i'll change it i'll take the new screen here okay mi zero i will go here here um uh, or else uh, you you want to return this right or the goods issue we can do okay here goods issue okay others is there no you can put the material number 18 uh, sorry 16 85 is the material quantity i will show one quantity and uh, fair in the fair we can able to maintain the woman type as 201 okay that is the goods issue i will show you goods issue to the cost center 201 see consumption to the cost center from the warehouse okay so i am just issuing the goods plant is mkp and storage uh, is rmsl okay click enter okay here it is uh, asking about the serial numbers here okay just give the serial number triple zero one i am giving cost center we have to give uh, what is our cost center uh, tacc i think okay yes okay check it okay posted if you go and check the what is that mmb transaction just go back okay mmb it will be changed already slash and mmb if you go and check it here okay earlier it was uh, 7 to 280 but now it is 279 okay here also you can able to check just click on this and go to the uh, material movements here also you will going to see one materially issued to the cost center Movement type two not two zero one. Okay, we have taken five materials through the goods receipt one not one movement type. Okay, like that also we can able to check it. So now in the IQ zero three I will go slash and IQ zero three if you go and check for the history for this particular material. See here if you go and check the history. See initially we have taken the goods receipt. Then now it is the goods is issued. See here where we have issued the goods to the cost center it is coming up here so this is how serial numbers will going to helpful for us okay so this serial numbers it should come into the material master but in this old version it is not coming okay you don't worry about that but in your case if it is coming uh, wherever it is coming but it will going to work same only okay so you better work on this serial numbers also okay very important thing okay serial numbers is uh, important data yeah thank you okay bye